Hello everyone, it's Daniel, OutZero Ambassador. In this video, I would like to show you how to integrate OutZero actions with Azure functions available in the Azure Cloud. Before we start, let me just clarify. Azure Functions is serverless offering available in the Azure Cloud, which enables you to run your applications without worrying about underlying infrastructure. When it comes to the OutZero actions, you can use them to, for instance, call external web API once the user is created in the OutZero tenant. So in this specific video, I would like to show you how to call Azure Functions once the user is registered in the OutZero tenant. So let's see how to do it. Let me start with the Azure Function app source code. So as you can see currently on the screen, this is just a simple HTTP triggered Azure Function app. It means that we can send HTTP requests to this function app. This function app can do something with this request, can process this request and return HTTP response. So as you can see here, we want to send the user ID in the body of the request and we want to log this information. Of course, in a real world scenario, you could call external system, you could create account in this system with this specific user ID provided from the out zero. So this function app will be called once the user is registered in the out zero tenant. So we want to send user ID in the request. We want to log this information and we want to return HTTP response. And that's it. So now let's go to the out zero dashboard. Here is my out zero tenant and dashboard where I can create new out zero actions. So from the left side, we can click actions and then select flows. As you can see, we can create actions for different flows. So we can execute action when a user is signing in. We can execute action before the user is created in the out zero tenant. And also we can define action that will be executed once the user is registered in the out zero tenant. So in this case, in this specific video, we will see how to call Azure function app once the user is created in the out zero tenant. So we will use post user registration flow. So right now, let me just show you really quickly what's happening in the Azure portal. Here it is, Azure portal and my Azure function app where I deployed the source code that I showed you before. So before we can call this Azure function app from the out zero actions, we have to deploy it to the Azure cloud. In this video, I will not present how to deploy Azure functions, but I want you to know that before I can call it from my action, I have to deploy it to the Azure cloud. So here is my Azure function. When I click it, from the left side, I can click functions. Here is my function uh, that I created. I can click it. And here, here is the get function URL. So I will copy it because I will use this URL in the out zero action, which I will show you just in a minute. Here is the out zero dashboard once again. And from the left side under actions, we have to select library. And this is the place where we can create new out zero actions. We can either use one of the actions provided by out zero, so existing action, or we can build our custom uh, action in the out zero dashboard. So as you can see here, we can provide the name for the action. We can decide when this action will be triggered. So, there are those different flows I mentioned before. In this video, we will focus on the post user registration. So we want to call Azure functions once the user is created in the out zero tenant. And of course, we have to select, select the node runtime. So in this case, it's uh, version 16. So here under custom tab, I already created 
the uh, out zero action. I called it register user in external system. So let me show you this. I will click three dots here and I will select details. As you can see here, here is the, the source code of my action. So what will, what will happen, this source code will be executed once the new user is registered in the out zero tenant. So in this code, we want to get the user ID, so the ID of the newly created user in the out zero tenant, and we want to call our Azure function app with this user ID passed in the request body. So as you can see here, here is the URL that I copied from the Azure portal, and I will paste this URL here to call my function app with the user ID. So once the user is created in the out zero tenant, then I will post the user ID to my function app. So once the, the source code is ready, we can either save the draft uh, of this out zero action, or we can just deploy it to use it in one of the flows. So in this case, in the flow related to um, a post user registration. So we have to click deploy. I've already done it. And right now we have to get back to flow stop. And here we have to click post user registration. And this is the place where we can add different actions uh, to this specific post user registration flow. So from the right side, if we select custom tab, here we can see that there is my register user in external system, out zero action. I can drag and drop it here before start and complete. And I can click apply button. And right now, once the user is created in the out zero tenant, out zero will call Azure function app to pass the user ID. So let's test this flow right now. Testing is really simple. From the left side, we have to select getting started and then click try it out. And here is the login page of my out zero tenant. Let's switch to sign up tab. Let's provide the email. Let's provide some password. There are two additional questions. So let's provide the name of the band to be tester and the uh, instrument that I play is guitar and let's click sign up. And right now the user is created in the out zero tenant and also my Azure function should be called. So let's check the Azure function logs to see whether there is the user ID uh, that I created right now. Here is the page with the logs from my Azure function and I can see here that my function was successfully triggered and received the ID of the newly created user. So let's copy this ID of the user and let's check in the out zero tenant whether such user exists. Here is the user management blade in the out zero dashboard. And I can see that this is my newly created user. If I paste the user ID that I copied from the Azure Functions log, I can see that this is exactly the same user ID that was passed uh, to the Azure Function. Great, so now we know how to call Azure Functions from out zero actions. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did and you learned something interesting and helpful. If you would like to learn more about out zero actions, I encourage you to check the links provided in this video. Thank you so much for watching.